Hey YouTubers, this is Bill Faith from Build Short Term Rental Wealth and I'm standing in my garage, my primary residence here in Nashville, Tennessee. And what I wanna talk about today is this mental mindset hurdle that a lot of new hosts have to get over about self-management and not being able to purchase a property away from their primary residence. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick snapshot here. As you can see, cushions, mini fridge, cases of Fiji, uh, Perrier water, bath tissue, microwave, uh, mirrors, lights, uh, outdoor dining set, a bunch of beach chairs, umbrellas, uh, some paddles, more towels, tissue, arcade games, televisions, bikes, uh, design core, all this type of stuff. The only reason that's here and all of that, and there's a little bit more inside of our house as well, is because we're actually going to Gulf Shores, my wife and I, uh, next week and she's designing a house and she's been working on this for a new construction for one of our Build Short Term Rental Wealth members. So a lot of that is for that stuff. We're also building a house. So a lot of it's for that. We're also, we've purchased a house and we're taking a U-Haul down and about a third of that is for a house that we just purchased last Friday. So all that stuff that you see is for three properties and there's amenities for two properties that I manage down in there and Gulf Shores as well. So there's no way that a 6'4", a 5'3 and a half, a 3'3 three, three and a half, and a 4'4", four, four, all of that stuff, there's a lot more to go along with it. So here's the big thing. What do we do with that other stuff? So Gulf Shores is a seven hour drive for us with a trailer, six and a half if I'm flying to an 85 down I-65, right? So there's a little secret that actually I learned from one of our members, one of my mastermind members I didn't even think of. For many years I've been doing this and a lot of remote properties and she taught me something new. So a lot of our big stuff, couches, beds, stuff that we wouldn't buy locally, dressers, decor, anything that's large, I'm having shipped to a UPS store. Boom, mind blown, light goes off. What do you mean? Her name's Lori Lochtefeld. She's in my mastermind group. You can tag her right here in, in YouTube or go to my Facebook page or my Facebook group, I should say, Build Short Term Rental Wealth. She's exceptionally smart, one of the smartest people I've ever met. And I told her, I said, you know what? I can't believe I never thought of that. So she bought a house or a cottage right next to a cottage that I actually did a retail flip on that I bought in February right next door. And she had everything delivered to the UPS store. Now this is a small store. It's probably 1,500, 1,600 square feet. They will hold typically on their national policy as UPS stores will hold stuff up to seven days. So you can have couches, you can have beds, you can have large stuff. You just need to contact your UPS store. You need to go in and open a PO box and just create a little bit of a relationship. Let them know what's gonna be coming ahead of time so they can plan on you know, the, the storage of it. And the cool thing, at least the one that, that Lori's using and I'm using in Gulf Shores, they'll hold it for me for 21 days. So that makes things a lot easier. The secondary component here is to go to your cleaners. There's a reason that I invest and I, I try to really take care of my cleaners. I try to overpay them. I bonus them. I try to help them grow their business because I kind of use them as a depot as well. And sometimes it's not just for cleaning supplies and bottled water and welcome gift stuff. I mean, they handle all of that, no question. But sometimes I may need to replace a television. I got to buy a 50 or 70 inch Vizio and have it shipped to them. A lot of times they'll receive that. They'll take it to the house, hand it to the handyman and be able to replace that for me. The third step is a neighbor. Right, so if you're investing into a market that has a lot of short-term rentals, um, you know, it's really important to make friends with your neighbors and mostly you're, most of the time you're gonna be able to find somebody that's a full-time resident. Well, if you can befriend them, build a relationship, and that's what's happening with the house that I'm building and the house that I'm actually managing is there's a neighbor right in between us. There's one house in between the two houses and his name's Bo and man, is he a godsend. So we've had a ton of stuff shipped there. And then he receives it, he puts it in his storage, and then we can pick it up, send a handyman to pick it up, send the cleaners to pick it up, or even pay him to, to deliver it for us. So there's a lot of options to get over this mental hurdle of how do I stage a house? How do I furnish when I'm all the way around, all the way across the country, or I'm seven hours away? These are just a couple of steps to show you to be able to do it. If you found any value, make sure you smash that subscribe button and don't forget to join our group. We've got over 8,000 hosts on the same journey, just like you and me to build long-term wealth for retirement.
And you can do that at Build Short-Term Rental Wealth on Facebook. You'll find a link right down in the comments below. Happy hosting, everybody.